Hey everybody, for those who don't already know, a common thing I like to do is refurbish computers. I go to this place called Google Computer Works and I buy non-working machines, working or non-working parts computers, and the ones that are in decent condition, I fix them, they can work again, and the ones that are in really bad shape, I just part out for parts and put into other machines. So it's common for me to have plenty of older computer parts available to play with. And I figured today I'd do a pretty cool experiment using this old HP Pavilion 754N. The only thing that's not stock on it is the hard drive, which is a 40 gig hard drive, and the memory. Well, it's still the same amount, but it's a different stick of memory. This computer I got for $14.99. It was missing the hard drive and only had 256 two megabytes of RAM. It was missing the CPU heatsink. I installed those parts and I was able to make it work again. And well, the only other issue with this machine is the optical drives don't work. So I use a USB to ID adapter and use an external um, CD or DVD drive to install my operating system on this machine. And basically, what I'm, what I'm doing here is um, I'm putting the common netbook operating system called Windows 7 Starter on this machine to see how it runs. For those who already know, Windows 7 Starter is a very um, stripped down version of Windows 7 which um, is pretty lightweight. The only thing I really don't like about Windows 7 Starter is the fact that you can't change your desktop background. But other than that, I think it's a good operating system because it's light. And, I mean, it's good for older computers. I mean, don't run on any decent computer because you'd be wasting your time. But um, anyways, if you're just for the heck of it, I would give this computer a good little stress test and see how it would run Windows 7 Starter. Let's go ahead and fire this bad boy up and see how it runs it. Now before I begin, um, I'm going to get you a better view of the screen. Before I begin, I'm going to tell you what I've done to this thing. Um, basically, I install Windows 7 Starter, install all the updates, like Service Pack 1, many of the most recent Windows updates, I've got Internet Explorer 9, and I installed Google Chrome, AVG Antivirus, and some other things. So that way we can just fool around with this thing, see how it runs everything. Like I say, this computer has 5 12 megs of RAM. Most netbooks that come with Windows 7 Starter have at least 1 gig of RAM. So let's go ahead and start this thing up and see how it runs it. And to be honest with you, it starts. It starts Windows 7 Starter like um, a decent computer would run Windows Vista. It would start Windows Vista. As soon as I get to the desktop, I'll pull up Windows Task Manager. Alrighty, went to desktop. And pull up task manager and let's see how things are going here <clears throat> not to mention also got things like all zip adobe reader 10 and stuff like that installed we're using 77 percent of our installed memory almost 400 megabytes of used memory out of 512 or 504 that's how much is available to windows the other eight megs is used by the internal graphics We're still loading things here. You'll hear the audio here shortly. It's still loading. We're up to 82% memory used now. Just had to put a bunch of stuff into a um, page file. Okay, just play the startup sound. And 
now our gadgets are low. Look, look at the memory if you can see. It's almost pegged out completely. We're at 90% memory used. It is definitely eating up some memory. Of course, I'd recommend it at least one gig of RAM with starter. But I figured just for the heck of it, I'd see how it would run with just a typical refurbished computer. I mean, most of my refurbished computers that come with Windows XP come with 512 megabytes of RAM. And either a 40 or an 80 gig hard drive. CPU's running wide open, something's using it up. And believe me, this thing has been <laughs> stressed quite a bit in terms of maxing out the CPU. This thing can get pretty hot. And this particular computer is not designed very well in terms of um, heat dissipation. Alright, now let's go ahead and pull up the Windows Experience Index. And of course this machine gets a base score of a 1.0 because of the graphics, desktop graphics and gaming graphics. The CPU gets a 3.4 which is actually, believe it or not, that's actually better than the score that my netbook CPU gets. This is a 2.53 gig Pentium 4 processor and the processor on my netbook is a Intel Atom N270 1.6 gig CPU. Memory scores are 2.9 because this motherboard is old and it's probably running um, the RAM at PC 2700 speed, more or less DDR333. If we was to put this memory in a more decent machine, let's say with the Enforce 4 chipset, it would probably get like a, um, well of course let's say with the AMD processor, it would get, um, I would say, probably a 4 to maybe a 5, depending on what. Um, type of socket 939 or 74 CPU you use. <laughs> so of course, I mean, for such an old computer, this is kind of be expected in terms of these scores. Now let's see how this thing browses the web. I'm going to see how this thing will um, watch YouTube videos. We've got a Q computer channel and Bike Geek, Geek MTDX, my other channel. Just for the heck of it. And of course, I figure you use Google Chrome since it's a, usually a pretty decent lightweight browser. And so is Firefox. It's not better than it used to be. Let's go to YouTube. And of course, I mean, as for as much stress I'm putting on this thing, it's actually not doing too awful bad, but <laughs> I think if it had like one gig of RAM, it would run a lot better. And pull Q computer channel first. And then we'll go to um, Bike Geek MTDX. It's actually browsing the web at pretty, de uh, pretty decent speed now. Everything's pulled up. Now I'm sure it won't, um, I'm sure video performance won't be too well. Let's play, um, let's see which one we should play. Here's a good one here. I ain't gonna watch the entire video, just play it a little bit. This is at 360 feet. Let's change it to 480 feet, just for the heck of it. Okay, we're at 480 feet. Let's see if we can even play 720. I know it's probably not gonna be possible. Yeah, it's pretty choppy. You ever notice this saying that um, says uh, some actions you do, 
that can turn around to haunt you. Well, here's a fine example of that. This is my um, this is my vantage make fun of video. It's decided to send up and have a look inside. Yeah, look how choppy that is. So it's barely managing to do HD. And of course, the um, motherboard this machine has Intel 845G graphics, really poor. So 480p is probably the best I can do. Yeah, That's playing a lot better. Know, I'm, That's playing a lot better. Um, I've been a real big fan of Magic Jack for several years. And by the way, if you haven't seen this video, it's real funny. Anyways, um, let's go to my other channel. For those who don't already know, I actually have a second YouTube channel. I have. Of course, Q Computer Channel, which is um, my computer tech video channel, and I also had this other channel that has stuff about weather, cycling, you name it, just random stuff. You see um, clouds and sunset time lapses, thunderstorm time lapses, you see a uh, special veterans event on I 85 in Charlotte, you see some traffic light test for bicycle detection, more sunsets dogs playing let's say just for the heck of it um let's see I'm going to play this video here turn this auto play off get a full screen well not full screen but this bigger player Yeah, so I haven't even messed with this channel in a long time. I need to upload some new videos to it pretty soon. Hey everybody. Bicycle well, transportation has become a very popular thing in a lot of cities and towns. Reasons being using gas prices. We're using 80, um, well, 85 percent of our memory. So anyways, 85 percent of the RAM closes add. 85 percent of 87 percent of memory. And run the CPU wide open. The smart fan, the computer's running wide open. That's so putting a pretty good amount of stress on this thing, but funny enough, it's actually running pretty decent. For the most part, most cities and towns have done a great job in modernizing the streets and everything for bicycle transportation. It's still playing a little Both choppy. North Carolina, in particular, and the Charlotte area, have been putting in what's called bike lanes. And had the addition of greenways and all sorts of stuff. The majority of traffic signals nowadays are approaching the intersection. Of course, if you want to watch these videos, um, my other channel is called Bike Geek MTDX. It's B I K E. It's B I K E G E E K MTDX. I got a link on my channel for that too. Cities and towns do that, which I think it should. Cases I haven't located. Let me show you a little clip of this video. What I'm doing in this video is, is testing these traffic lights to make sure they'll detect bicycles, make sure their inductive loop sensors are properly tuned. After I ride through this intersection, I'll move on. As you can hear, it's still playing a little bit choppy. Okay, so anyways, you get the idea. Went on YouTube, played a couple of videos to show you how they play. Pretty rough. Show you how this machine runs, Windows 7 starter. Now, let's give you my final opinions on this. Um, if you were to ask me, would Windows 7 starter be a good operating system for older computers? I would say yes and no. Because these older computers would need at least 1 gig of RAM. 
to run with a seven starter at a decent speed. And at the same time, I also don't think that um, Windows 7 Star would be a good operating system for these old computers because you can't change your desktop background. There's other things that you restrict from doing. And um, anyways, that's just um, the whole experiment here. Just to see how this old computer run Windows 7 Starter. Get a good little stress test. It's going to shut it down. Got other things to be doing. Anyways, I'm um, going to shut this thing down, let it go. So you just got to see how a 10 year old computer would run Windows 7 Starter at a stock configuration. Now, pretty soon I'm planning on torturing an old Pentium 3 setup with Windows 7 Ultimate and maybe Windows Vista too. Still waiting for it to shut down. Hard drive running wide open. Of course, if this was Windows Vista, it would take until um, next Christmas to um, shut down. Anyways, any questions or comments? Feel free to ask.